So let us come back and do your 2014 paper. That is your part B of your 2014 paper. Let's read the question. So we have already done one part, part A. Let's see the part B. So what type of deviation is shown by a mixture of ethanol and acetone? Okay, yes. So here uh, basically I have done one video which is labeled like named as uh, deviations from causes for deviation from ideal behavior. That is positive deviation, negative deviation. So when I speak about ethanol and acetone, you are finding hydrogen bonding in this, right? So when there is hydrogen bonding we obviously know it's going to show uh, uh, a positive deviation yes because more amount of energy is required to break the hydrogen bonding correct so I've done one video which is numbered as video number 20 please watch that video you will find and I've given you a clear explanation of why what type of deviation why is it showing so I have now labeled it as causes for uh, ideal uh, causes for deviation from ideal behavior so please watch that let us come back and solve this now see here here I have written one formula you can easily directly note this in the exam when if suppose in the exam if they ask you to find out molarity and if they ask you to find out molality and if they give you density directly simple just note it and I should tell you keep practicing it you will get to know so whenever they ask you to find molarity or molality when density is given use this formula directly see how am I using it directly let's see now in this question a solution of glucose molar mass 180 grams in water is labeled as 10 percent by mass that means 10 grams 10 grams uh, solute and 90 grams solvent what would be the molality and molarity of the solution right <clears throat> nothing is given only thing is glucose is given to us glucose solution so that means the solute is this which is 10 grams which is dissolved in a solution which is 90 grams so let us write come back and find out molarity directly look here what is percentage mass what is a uh, mass given 10 percent isn't it so right directly write 10 into what is a uh, this one more 10 into density how much is given 1.2 divided by molecular mass of the solute 180 so when you solve this you get molarity equal to 0 0.66 so molarity so that's the reason the unit is capital M so this is your answer directly there is nothing to do with this <coughs> directly apply in the formula and you'll get the answer so please practice this formula it will be very useful for you let us come back and calculate molality now molality denoted by small m isn't it now what is the percentage by mass again the same thing your 10 what is the molecular mass of the solute 180 grams into 1000 by 100 minus percentage of mass 100 minus 10 grams so this comes to 100 by 180 into 100 by 90 which is equal to 0 0.617 small m because it is molality so this is your answer so it's simple isn't it I just took the formula I memorized the formula for I'm telling you I'm asking you to memorize the formula substitute the values and get the answer and write the units